Welcome back to Gobino Games, and today we're battling SDF. If I'm not mistaken, somebody told me it's SD Foundation, also known as Sugar Daddy Foundation. I'm not sure if that's true, but yep, sounds OP. Okay, well, anyway, uh, we're looking for those Louise and Ophelia defenses that we're going to be testing out with different teams and okay perfect we have here sdf bin with that ophelia Aranis, and theomars and then this is very good because he also has that louise skogul jean defense now we're gonna go try it out and we're gonna bring in different teams to see how we can beat it what makes these defenses very op is that those leader skills like from Ophelia you see a defense lead of 44% therefore that's going to give a really good buff for that Taranis whose damage scales off defense right at the same time this Luis has that guild content HP lead of 44% now when paired up with Skogul that Atlas Stone is going to land and it's going to do a lot of damage and at the same time it's going to make this Sean very tanky with the heal on that first skill of John and invincibility taking turns from Luis and John, that's gonna be such an OP defense. Okay, now for the first team, we're going to bring in our Zyros, Tiana, and Galleon. Now, with that reset from Zyros skill number three, and then that attack power lead and attack buff and defense break from that Galleon. We should be able to kill that team and cleave them. While for the team below, for the second round, we're just going to Bulwark, Emilia, and Diana them. Because whatever happens, those wind guys, Luis and Skogul, will keep attacking our water guys. And that's going to keep giving attack bars to our Diana. And Diana's just going to keep stripping and hitting, attacking, and hopefully we'll get the Diana train off. Now here are our monster builds, and let's do it. Now this cleave team is very dangerous. That is if they reset our defense breaks, or if that Ophelia was faster than our Diana. Or of course, if she's not faster than Diana, or sorry, Diana, but then she's able to cut in. And of course, we need this fiery breath to reset all these skills. Okay, now even if this Ophelia goes wild and crazy, um, it's really fine. Looking at the attack bars, we have our Zyros next. So all we have to do is do Reign of Fire. But then we have to make sure that we kill this Ophelia. Because we already have been able to reset them anyway. Alright. Now, for this fight, I'm thinking if Skorgul throws that Atlas Stone and it hits everyone, it's going to give attack bars to Diana, right? At the same time, everyone's gonna keep attacking onto our win, guys, so we should be fine. Now, I want to start working on this Jean because she has the provokes, and at the same time, oof. Yep, we have to put shields first. Yeah, even though I have Im immunity, of course, with the turn base of things, there is a big chance that this John will might be able to cut in and provoke either um, Diana or our Wolverick. Nevertheless, even though she has invincibility, we can strip. Or not. <laughs> Technically, yeah, and as you saw in the builds, um, this is actually not a 100% crit rate Diana. Nevertheless, I wanted to put her on with more speed and HP. And that's why, I don't know, maybe she's not critting so much, but nevertheless, it's doing rather okay. 
I'm pretty good at these levels with the build that she's currently on. Now since we already removed the shield from this Louise, let's start working on her. And most probably she's, someone's gonna put invincibility on her. Either she puts it on herself or Jean will. Okay, that prayer of protection. But as usual, she procs Violent out of it and shakes it off. Now let's continue to kill her because she's putting all those shields on everyone and it's preventing us from doing more damage. Okay, here comes the Diana train. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, good thing we resisted. Um, that's fine. We're just gonna stun. No stuns. Freeze? No freeze. Uh, we need to heal here. Because, yep. Louise is going to have her third skill up on the next turn, so it's okay even if we use Forbidden Galda right now. Okay. Now, here comes Diana for the kill. Yep, let's go kill this Louise. Okay, that's fine. Forbidden Galder onto Zon. Yep, definitely. We're just going to cleanse that. Alright. Now, can we kill this Jean here? Now, now. Let's not be greedy. Let's transform. And just... An inevitable wound just to make sure that we kill her. Stun. No stun. Uh... Okay, now let's go work on this Kogul. Yep, I'm leaving this Louise alive because we need her to give stacks to our Bulwark. Let's see. It's very dangerous to keep this Kogul alive. You know, say if we kill Louise and then well, um, this Kogul starts to throw his Atlas Stone, it's going to be very dangerous because all those cooldowns are going to go off and then he's going to keep throwing atlas stones and then it's going to be very dangerous for us all right gg onwards to the next battle let's see what we can find we're looking at plus two towers right now okay and we see here sdf campbell with again a Luis and ophelia combo now I'm thinking for the first round he has that again HP lead from Luis that's gonna give a power punching Atlas Stone and then he has this Kumar who has heals, strip, and at the same time silences his enemies. Right? Definitely we can do another Bolverk Emilia combo, but since we want to make this interesting, we're going to bring double pandas. For the first one, we're going to bring in our Molong together with our Ikaris and Harmonia, definitely doing double HP damage. And then for the team below, we're going to bring in our Feng Yen supported by Wusa. And then we have our El Sharion to just get rid of any of the buffs that they're going to put on from that Triana. And at the same time, from this Ophelia. Now here are our monster builds. All right, let's do it. Now the first monster to kill here is this Ophelia. And you notice that I brought in my Despair Molong because I want him stunning. And look at the attack bars. Yep, can we lower the attack bar with Skogul? Okay, now we Dark Recovery and then Reckless Assault. So automatically it's a... Ooh, 3 versus 2. Now that was dangerous. Good thing we brought in our tankier Molong. Because our Despair Molong is actually tankier than our Violent Molong. Now I'm not going to Unwanted Harmony first. 
Now can we stun? Nice stun. Oh, but he shakes it off. Okay, now we lower the HP. And then we start working on this Kumar. Stuns. Dot. Very resistant. Violent proc. <laughs> okay, now we're getting violent procs. And that's Gucci. Yeah, by the way, thank you to everyone who gave feedback with regards to the build of Icarus. Definitely, I agree with you. Violent runes still rule all the, you know, the different rune builds. It's just violent, or just, you know, it's just so OP, you know. Stunts. But then the spare stunts are still very useful, of course. But at the end of the day, especially in RTA, when you get that, you know, that game changing proc of a violent proc is just man so OP okay now looking at that health goodbye Skogul all right now this Ophelia is going to cry of threat Definitely with that cry of threat, she's the only one that you can attack. Good thing we brought in our Asharian, so at least Asharian's just going to keep getting or you know stealing any of those buffs. Okay. Yep, the cry of threat. You know, every time you hit that character, it now um, lessens the duration of that cry of threat. Okay, we'll con okay, nice sleep. Yep, defense break. Yep, violent proc again. Yep, now this offense team is very dangerous because if, you know, this Theomars decides to start working on our Alsharian, it's going to be dangerous. And that's why we have to keep our... Uh, what do you call this? Our Wusa at a low health ratio because we don't want this Thesarian or this Theomars to start working on our Asharian. Now, Feng Yen is also good against this Triana because then we double hit and it just basically negates that salvation passive of this Triana. Now our uh, Sharion is a bit in danger. Okay, good thing we sh we shook that violent or that defense break up with a violent proc. Ooh 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs> um, yep, let's put shields. But then it mm, kill. Okay, three versus one. Pretty much a done deal. Now while this fight is going on, I would like to say and send out a warm round of greetings to our current subscribers. What's up guys? How are you guys doing? And to our new subscribers, again, welcome to our channel. I hope you enjoy what we have for you here. And if there's any content that you're looking for, just do please do leave a comment and we'll do our best to deliver your requests. And to everyone, please do stay safe and Yep, stay clean, maintain that social distancing, and yeah, hopefully this will end soon. Okay, now back to the fight. Usually Triana's are built with high resistance, that's why she's basically just resisting everything. See what I mean? <laughs> no defense break, no steals, no whatever. And she always gets the violent box. That's why if you're building a Harmonia or like a Triana, just make sure you build them on violent will with high speed, resistance, and HP. Okay. Now let's go look at the highest health plus one here. And we see SDF buds, HUDs. SDF something. Uh, let's see. Let's go hit buds. 
Now, this is very interesting because there's, a, you know, imagine this. It's a G3 Guild War and you're putting NB4 monsters. Why? Because this is very meta right now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in something that can easily kill Miho. And I'm thinking, let's do bombs. We can definitely bomb her. Okay, that's good. We have runes on our um, Malaka over here. And so our plan here is, even though our Malaka is not on will, we're going to play around with that RNG of that harmless prank. And hopefully, yeah, I don't think we can outspeed that Orion. But definitely, this Komun is not going to attack our water guys. So we should be good. And even if that Orion stuns someone, we have beta with a sustain, anti-crit, and immunity. And then for this Jean Theomars the Ladian, we're just going to do a copper bulldozer together with our Emilia. Now I've seen these OP defenses with a Jean Beladian and Taranis. Yeah, let me know if you want to see that. It's pretty Pretty much OP, man. Okay, now, anyway, here are our monster builds. And let's play with a little bit of RNG. Now, if we outspeed this Orion, it would be good. Oh, a good thing we resisted. Ooh. Oh, hey. Let's see. We'll need to... Yeah, we don't really need defense break, but better to have defense break, of course. We need all these bombs. Oh, oh no. Uh, that's fine. As long as we have one on Miho, because we have reduced stack bars of this Komun. Yeah, as long as we have that bomb on Miho so that it kills her. Because our Malaka packs a punch anyway. So that's goodbye, Miho. Goodbye, Kumun. And 3 versus 1. Oh man, but still though. I and mean, of course, it's very RNG with that harmless prank. Mm. Man, I mean. Dude, really? That bad? No bombs? <laughs> oh man, it keeps missing. Yeah, dude. No way this Orion or this Komon has high resistance. Okay. Now. With this. Hmm. The risk here is of course if the lady strips someone. With that seas, good thing we resisted. Now we're gonna full power punch this Baladian because we don't want here healing or giving attack bars. Okay, let's spinning smash. That's rush <laughs> just to make sure that we kill Baladian. Can we stun? Okay, nice stun. Let's buff up again with purifying wave, and then the next turn we're just going to. Thunder Strike, this is Stun John. And that's about it. Alright. Well, there you have it. Those are all our monster fights for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Alright. GG, well played. Thank you once again to our Symphonic Guild and to SDF for your OP defenses. Like what we always do, may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one. Now here are some Guardian RTA Special League battles from our Guardian three version 2 players. We see a lot of Mina first picks. 
and just definitely OP cats. Plus, how can I say it? Yeah, definitely OP cats, especially Miho. Miho, Mina, and Fran. OP man. You even see them battling all these LND NV5s. Man, if you don't haven't built them, definitely build them. Okay, and uh, so that's it for today again. Thank you and 